In news around the bluffs, another presidential candidate makes a stop on the campus of Iowa Western. <laughs> Hillary Clinton visits the Student Center on Tuesday, January 5th. The former first lady spoke to the crowd of around 600, touching on topics that include the economy and climate change. With the Iowa caucuses coming up on February 1st, tours through the state from presidential candidates have been a regular occurrence. You need to be informed and know what they're running on because then you can see if their ideas match with yours. And if they don't, then you might not have the right candidate to vote for. This is Clinton's second stop in the area in just a matter of a few months. She joins a list of candidates that are running for president that have come through the Council Bluffs area since October, including a number of big names you've seen on network television. Surely this list will continue to grow in the coming weeks. The Council Bluffs Police Department adds new members to its staff. The CBPD sworn six new officers on Monday, January 4th. The ceremony took place at City Hall in front of friends, family, and also those they'll be serving with. Some of the swarming come with a previous background in law enforcement, while one has served overseas in Kuwait. They're the next generation of kids that are coming into our department. They're the ones that are going to be serving in uniform patrol and hopefully investigation someday and taking care of this, the citizens in our community. Two of the fill positions were available due to retirement. Kyle Cordy comes in from the Fort Dodge Police Department and Taylor Coffey from the Glenwood Police Department. They'll begin serving immediately. The other four newly sworn in officers will begin training shortly. Those are Michael Brown coming from the La Vista Police Department, Adam Gow from the Shelby County Sheriff's Department, Zachary Milner will get his first law enforcement experience coming out of South Dakota State, and Hillary Schrage joins that force after serving a tour in Kuwait for the Iowa National Guard. And wrapping up news around the bluffs, the city reveals a plan to protect its trees from a threat smaller than a penny. The Parks and Rec Department unveiled a plan to treat as ash trees in preparation of the emerald ash borer. The strategy involves ranking trees on a point system determining what needs to be done with the tree. Once this plan becomes active, the city says it can save 97% of Counts Bluffs ash trees. The short-term effects is we will be uh, removing 30 of our worst ash trees in the city starting here this winter. And then this spring, the community can expect the city to begin treatments of our healthiest ash trees. The benefits of ash trees range from increased air quality to electricity conservation and property value. If you'd like to learn more about the city's plan, more information is available at councilbluffseab.com.